Hello, my name is Rosie Wilson and I'm here with Alex Ridgely to find out why he would class himself as obsessed with Star Wars. So, Alex, how old are you? I am 17. Can you tell us firstly what Star Wars is? Star Wars is based in a galaxy far, far away a long time ago and uh, follows the first three films follow the life of a young man known as Luke Skywalker and then the second load of films follows a young man known as Anakin Skywalker. Can you tell us how you first got into Star Wars? I watched the prequels first, which um, not many other people did because uh, I suppose I saw a couple in, cin in cinemas and then um, on DVD and then I really got into the original films more so than the, uh, the uh, prequels. Would you say you were obsessed with Star Wars? Unhealthily so. How would you describe your obsession with Star Wars? I like to collect uh, Star Wars merchandise ranging from minifigures to games, um, special edition DVDs and um, I have a few key rings as well based around Star Wars as well. What would you say to people who are not so keen on Star Wars? Well everyone's entitled to their own opinion of what sort of franchise they like I suppose. The, um, the, the sort of opposite side of the line would be Star Trek and many people either like that or can't see the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek. So I'd say, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion. Not everyone is as, as obsessed as, as I am with Star Wars. It's all what people like. It's all what makes us different. Okay, so I've heard that there are new films scheduled to come out very soon. Well, not soon, but you know. Um, are you excited for the new films? I'm sceptical because not only has it been such a long time since the um, last set of films came out but also we uh, it is being done by a new director and he recently did the I think the last two Star Trek films so fans are rather confused about which side they're meant to be on at, uh, at this point but um, yeah I'm skeptical and I'm, uh, I think we should definitely give it a chance. Do you think they'll be successful? I think if they're done correctly and um, they stay away from singing or dancing any sort of musical number definitely um, will give an opportunity for people to grow on the new attitude towards Star Wars. Can you tell us any inside or leaked secrets for the new films? Well, not so much confirmed stuff, but there has been a couple of rumours about different actors um, being in it. Nothing, nothing written in stone. But um, I think J.J. Uh, Abrams, who is the director of... Um, who is going to be the director of Star Wars 7, 8 and 9, is keeping everything rather close to his chest at the moment and we probably won't see any news until 2014 or just before the release in 2015. Okay, thank you. I'm Rosie Wilson. I'm Alex Ridgely. Thank you for listening.